Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna do the comparison between the Trunk C and the A98. All right, the first difference is this front frame brace, as you can see. If you compare A nut and Trunk C, on A nut is definitely smaller, or well, let's say not so tall. And here we have let's four and a half centimeter, and here is six centimeter so definitely some difference there next if we look here we have these two big holes and two small on the side and on the anat we have no holes only these four for the belt holder all right and if we measure the the bed how high is the bed we can clearly see that on trunk C is much taller or on the bed is on much higher height. Definitely we have some uh, frame differences. For example, this belt, best holder or belt bearing on A nut is much smaller. And there is two of those. Like in a sandwich. More we have a difference in middle frame. On Troxy it's much higher and the uh, rods are inside the frame. So as you can see here it's approximately 3.5 or let's say yeah around 3-3.5 centimeter and there is much more room for uh, for this uh, for this screw as you can see here on A nut here it's a cut part so this screw this screw is uh, pretty much on the half as we compare it's around two centimeters so definitely the frame the middle frame is stronger on a trunk seat than on a nut now if we look here to the stepper motor we can we can see that uh, this frame on each of the side of stepper motors is uh, thinner on the A nut, it's approximately, I believe, two millimeters, and here it's a much, uh, much thicker. So definitely difference there. All right, you see, it's a thicker frame. Now we have more. Now, if you compare the side panels, or uh, the stepper height, we can see here it's twelve. 12 and a half and less than 5 and here is 5 and a half and less than 11 centimeters on the side here we can see the NAT8 has no holes in uh, inside the panel on both sides and the Chunky has pretty much huge holes on both sides as well on the upper small holes for the cables and now we are coming to the buttons and to LCD. As you can see around the buttons there is a huge gap which makes the buttons a little bit loose and we have some light leak, uh, leakage around the LCD. On the A nut we the buttons are nice tight and it's much easier to click on it. As well there is no leakage in the in the light on the LCD on the A nut. Now we have we, we see the top of the frame on trunk C and on A nut. As you can see, as you can see, there is definitely a difference in the uh, top of the frame as well. So maybe you're gonna keep in mind if you need to print something from A net and it will probably not fit. So you can see it's eight centimeter here and pretty much ten on the trunk. See, and here on the A net is around twelve and around let's see around 9 so you need to keep in mind that as well and now we come into the bed frame he is on trunk C you can see it's a acry acrylic frame holder two bearings on the right side and one bearing on the left side and on a nut we have a metal frame and two bearings on the both of the side of the heat bed so definitely some difference there huge one next one we can see the back of the frame on the a nut and on the trunk C slightly difference uh, in a bigger uh, stop limiter let's see the height it's around 
five and a half and here is around four on the trunk seat there is a power supply with a fan which runs much cooler on the night there is no fan holes in the sign panel of the frame on the night and on the truck seat there is no holes all right now here if we look to z-axis mounts we can definitely see that there is a uh, holes inside them and they're pretty much totally different build definitely much more solid on a net as you can see there is no holes and space and uh, inside the a net there is only one huge uh, uh, bearing and inside of trunk seat there is a two small one now we see the back of the cd of the a net and on the trunk seat definitely difference here again there is a small uh, difference in the front top frame in angle here and here uh, bearings are different on the on the trunk seat there is a bigger bearing which I like actually it is a little bit wide but it doesn't affect nothing here we have a small bearing and like in the sandwich on the A nut some side panel small one on the steppers on each of the sides there is a small holes on a trunk seat on both of them on the nut there is no any holes all right this is the back of the panel of trunk seat as you can see how does look on a nut there is a difference there is a couple of holes and uh, it's a different type and shape and now we're coming to the extruder or to be more specific the extruder holder which is this metal plate this is how my was looking on anad as you can see there is much more holes and it's a slightly different design slightly different here is the back panel of the trunk seat so three bearings and there is no holes if you wanna make or add some uh, belt tighters this is a trunk seat motherboard this is an anad motherboard totally different now let's compare the steppers on a trunk seat it's four centimeters long and our a nut is 3.7 slightly difference in um, stepper motors as well as you can see it the height is not the same as well uh, the trunk seat is actually around let's say uh, i guessing two centimeter well, i mean higher than our a nut so the frame is higher on a net this is how they look uh, the z axis holders on the trunk seat totally open you can see everything inside they're made and here on a net there is no holes and nothing they're pretty much solid this side as well different shape different uh, holes and everything so you definitely need to keep in mind if you don't put some bed holder it will not fit from a net look at that side it's a solid and because of slightly difference in the frame especially on the top here on the anat this filament guide sits pretty nice but if you take the same and put on the trunk seat it will fail because of one millimeter thicker frame on an anat on this part so you need to keep this in, in mind you know if you want to take some parts of it as well this pool holder on an anat is nice it's nice uh, fit but on the trunk seat the same you get some gap so you definitely need to consider this you know or you're gonna do some 3d modding or you're gonna maybe this or you're gonna drill it and make it secure and tight for example the same this belt tighter for a nut it's it fits pretty nice and it's made for this part obviously and if you take on the trunk seat the same part it will not fit so definitely difference in the frame and the parts now let's compare the extruders which is big deal uh, here we're looking at at my a nut 8 extruder that came with the printer as you can see uh, much more difference it'll leave you pain in a finger <laughs> if you need to change the filaments unless you print some kind of uh, some kind of button here on uh, trunk seat it's definitely nice feel better feel and the, the design of it so this whole extruder is pure metal and it's pretty much nicely designed for the filaments and this is how it looks inside 
so definitely better built and there is a small guide on each of the side for the for the filament which makes uh, filament very easy to change as well make uh, flex filament much easier to print so there is there is no need for any mods if you want to use this kind so definitely trunk c uh, has a better extruder which is a very big deal so definitely huge difference in these two extruders and here we see a side panel on the trunk c how thick it is 7.16 millimeter and here on the a nut it's almost 8 millimeter so definitely some difference and some position of the holes inside the panels on both of these printer are different all right now let's compare two filament holders the one that cam printers with this is a trunk c as you can see you have to use uh, you have to cut the axle exactly uh, to fit inside this filament holder and here on the a nut you can use longer it doesn't matter and now we come into the print quality of course there is no fair play here because my a nut is uh, pretty much upgraded to the max and the trunk c is still the standard but from my experience the trunk c and a nut has pretty much the equal uh, quality only thing what's uh, what is a uh, difference here uh, is the type or the shape of the air blower which gives a uh, pretty good nice results so so far i didn't change it on my old anat obviously uh, extruder was a little bit issue it was a bit hard to change the filaments and on the trunk c i didn't have any of those issues so definitely some upgrades on the trunk c and two things I forgot to mention is that on ANAT A8 there is a connector to the heat bed so it's easily to swap the bed and on the trunk C the wire are soldered in. So there is no plug and play if you want to change the heat bed. And the second thing is definitely a noise. So uh, the trunk C has the power supply with the fan on and it is a little bit noisier but definitely cooler if we compare the a nut which has no fan on it but it is definitely silent and last thing is uh, one plus on the a nut and that is definitely a facebook page of the a nut 8 and a huge upgrades list on the thingverse that you can uh, download and install for free of course there is uh, some upgrades for the trunks as well but definitely more and the more support on the a nut 8 and that's it guys, that was my comparison video between the Trunk C and the ANAT 8. Definitely some awesome printers for the buck. Which one you're gonna choose? That's up to you. Take care, bye bye.